In this video, I'll be using motion capture to create a walk cycle on a treadmill. I'll talk about what treadmill I used as well as my motion capture techniques and how I integrated the walk cycle in Unreal Engine. Hi, I'm Woody. I make content about Unreal Engine inside Unreal Engine. I use this avatar for all my videos, which for the most part works great. It's got really great hand tracking that I use with an Ultra Leap, and it's got facial tracking that happens live on an iPhone that's sitting here at my desk. However, there's one thing I can do that you've never seen before. I can stand up and walk around. For a while now, I've had the ability to walk around with using video game style controls in my scene. Currently, my character is just using the default Unreal Engine third person character walk cycle. It's a really good walk cycle, but it doesn't look like me walking. After all, this character is the exact size of my body in real life. For this project, I'm gonna use my Vive Tracker system. The biggest advantage of Vive Trackers is that I can see my system working in real time in the engine. However, I had some problems with this, as you'll see in a second. This is a custom solution that I've made using the Live Link system and Live Control Rigs to be able to harness the really fine-tuned position data of the Vive Trackers. It gets really cool and it's something I'm really proud of. When I first went looking for a treadmill, I took a recommendation from a friend who does this a lot. And unfortunately that one didn't ship with a remote, making it totally unusable. So I went back to the drawing board. For a mocap situation, especially if you're doing optical capture, you're gonna want an under desk treadmill. If you're like me in a small space, you're gonna need one that's gonna be low footprint, but also have a range of speeds. This is the treadmill I bought on Amazon for about 200 bucks. This one tops out at a max speed of five miles per hour. I actually found much more expensive ones that would typically max out at four or even three miles per hour. This one has a 15.5 inch track in terms of the width, which is probably the biggest drawback. I'm not a tall person, but I found that my natural step is actually a little wider than that. I'm sort of duck footed. Five miles per hour is definitely a jog. It's sort of this weird little in between, between running and walking and probably good enough for my purposes to be able to use for a run cycle. So I decided to do that too. Also wanted to see if it was possible to uh, play video games. I mean, stay in shape while using this as well. And I gotta say thumbs up here. So the Vives were an okay decision and they held up pretty well for the walking itself outside of a rogue elbow tracker, which never really seemed to stay in place. Running, however, was a bit of a nightmare. While my Vive system is pretty accurate, the trackers themselves can jostle when you move, which isn't great for stuff like this. A lot of my Vive trackers are set to work on the rotation of the Vives and not the position of them. I did all of my recording in Unreal's Take Recorder. All I had to do was add my mesh into the column of objects to record and hit the big red button. So this is pretty good. This is pretty good. All of the recorder data from skeletal meshes gets saved into an animation asset, which you can just look up if you know the take number. Now what we can actually do is we can preset the cycle so that all of the keyframes are correct before we even get started. If I just alt drag this and I pull it over, it's like, oh, perfect. Now I can just like crossfade them. So what we need to find is like two points. So here's like a good, here's a good point. If you press the M key, see I just made that little marker right there. It says A. And then there's, a, uh, there's the other. So like we could just crossfade between these two parts here. I'm gonna delete this again. And I'm gonna pull this back so that we have like this AB thing here. So knowing that we can crossfade this, I'm gonna bring this up here. And then I'm gonna stretch this out on this side, bring it down. And then we should have a perfect working walk cycle now. We'll just bring the two ends. I'm gonna turn on looping. See that? There we go, cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake this through a control rig. All these options pop up, I just leave everything default. I did all the cleanup directly in Unreal Engine. There was a part of me that was like, oh good, now I can turn this process video into a little video about how to do mocap cleanup. I'll share a few things I learned here for sure. Uh, but the biggest thing I'd recommend is already having some control rigs that you like for your character, IK rigs especially would be very helpful for a project like this. The rigs I had prepared for this job were FK rigs, which can be extremely difficult when you wanna change something down the line. I'd strongly recommend IKs. For FKs, you can clean things up by fixing the individual curves or by creating an additive section in the control rig layer and sequencer. This is pretty limited though. 
To do a proper walk cycle that blends into a run cycle, you're gonna wanna line everything up in a one dimensional blend space. Blend spaces are a way of shifting between different animations on a variable scale. You can press the control key to preview different points in the blend space. It has a smoothing feature, which is extremely helpful when you're moving your walk all the way back down to an idle pose. The biggest things I learned in this process are to make sure your walk cycle and run cycle start on the same foot and contain the same number of steps. The default mannequin has three steps for each foot, so that's six total steps. I went off of this, but unfortunately I didn't get so many clean takes and I ended up splicing a couple of my pieces together. Ultimately, I really like the results of what I made, but I'm not sure it's perfectly accurately how I would step, especially because the treadmill's small and because I ended up doing so much cleanup on this project. But anyways, here's to this new fun little feature. I'm gonna be able to use this to make all sorts of kinds of new content, maybe some procedural walking, maybe some controlling my character like a video game. I don't know, it's kind of exciting and new and fun. Why are my pants so tight? Why are they this tight? There's problems with my modeling. <laughs>